If you can get this right, you're going to be hitting the ball a lot harder, a lot further, and you're going to hit a lot more bounce. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be covering some power hitting drills and speeding up your hand speed and getting into positions that allow you to hit the ball a lot further and a lot harder. A lot of the time we get guys who come to us who are very good technically. We've taught them how to play uh, correctly, nice and straight. They get into good positions, etc, etc. But they aren't able to hit the ball hard, especially at the junior levels. Uh, this is something that's very difficult to get past for a lot of players. They struggle to find the power to hit the ball through the inner ring and you find them hitting balls at the cover fielder over and over again with a perfect cover drive but they never end up getting it through the ring. If you tried some of these drills that we're going to show today, hopefully we can start getting you into a habit of hitting it through the inner ring, getting enough power to get past the fielders and also looking at death batting uh, we're batting at the end where you start to hit a lot more boundaries all right these drills are going to give you a stable base and they're going to allow your hand speed to increase and allow you to hit a lot more boundaries going into the last few overs or if your team needs to pick up the run rate or if you're looking to set sweepers back onto the boundary so there's a couple drills that i want us to get out the way first uh, so that we are able to build up into the final drill. With these first few drills, it's all going to be about hand speed and then getting into good positions. The most important part of power hitting and hitting the ball further is going to be down to your hand speed, which will relate and turn into bat speed. So if you can get your bat speed up, you're going to end up hitting the ball a lot harder. Now this drill is obviously going to be targeted at your hand speed. So I want you to grab a second bat, uh, just put this right behind your bat okay and then you're going to practice swinging across the line here and just work on picking up your hand speed so this drill maybe give it about eight or ten swings okay and i want you to really feel your wrist snapping through the shot once we've done a couple swings across the line I want you to start getting into a good driving position and then start swinging the bats slightly straighter. A very important part of cricket is obviously the fitness aspect okay, and your mobility. So building up your strength is going to be very, very important when it comes to longer distance hitting. There are obviously a lot of exercises uh, that are related to cricket, which I will be covering in a future video. But for the sake of long distance hitting, these are just a couple of the, of the exercises that we can be doing uh, to increase your performance in that aspect. As you can see, I've got a TheraBand here. If you do not have one of these, uh, I highly suggest you get one of them. There are multiple exercises that you can perform just with this uh, here and you can do them at home and you can build more than enough strength uh, to help you hit the ball a lot longer. The first exercise we're going to be doing is to help with shoulder mobility. What we're going to be doing, if you don't have one of these, uh, for now you can use a towel. And I just want you to get it up above your, your head here and just pull to the side. So we're going to hold for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, uh, focusing on keeping our arms nice and straight, keeping our wrists locked in. We're just going to be focusing on that shoulder. For the next drill, we're going to be setting up in a driving stance and then we're going to be connecting the TheraBand to a pole or a tree and then from this driving position, we're going to be pulling through here. Okay, so really focusing on that upper body, moving towards your target and then through the ball. So really focus on those hips moving towards your target line. I don't want them to rotate around. Uh, a lot of you play golf, uh, obviously you're accustomed to rotating your your hips i don't want you to rotate i want you to hold them in place and thrust them through the line of the shot because that's what's going to get you a lot of power moving forward the next drill is also really going to be focused on your core strength and your hips and we're going to be pulling from side to side okay across your chest uh, allowing your your core to engage really make sure that you you engage your core all these drills so far 
are just going to be focused on increasing your hand speed allowing you to snap through the ball and then also we did a little bit of positioning work uh, with your hips the next most important thing about hitting the ball further is going to be your position once you get into a good position and you allow your hands to snap through it that is 90 percent of the hard work done and you're going to be already hitting the ball a lot further in order to get your positioning right i suggest you go have a look at uh, the other video I posted of the batting drills where you can do at home. Just placing those cones in front of you and then getting into good positions and allowing you to hit through the line. That is the basis of every shot, getting that position right. So once we've got that position right, I really want you to focus on your stride length. Okay, so we're not going to be too far forward so that we have to lean back. And we're also not going to be too close here because you're not going to have enough power to put through the shot. I want you to be in a almost that those of you who play rugby in a rugby tackling position you'd get here so that you're able to push through the tackle okay now that we're in this position here uh, we're obviously going to focus on just getting our hands to whip through the shot so as you can hear you almost want to hear like that whoosh as the bat comes through strong positions leaning into it and whoosh through if you like what you're seeing so far Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got loads of awesome video ideas coming up, loads of really cool interviews coming up, as well as some really great topics that we're gonna be covering in the future. Now we're gonna be looking at the single most important drill that is gonna help you hit the ball a lot longer. Once we get back into the academy nets, I will be covering this again uh, with a player and then showing you guys what faults you can look for. But for now, while you're at home, we're gonna improvise the main focus is just to build up that explosive power and then also to get a thought process behind your shot. Generally with this drill, uh, we'd be looking at using a medicine ball. Uh, so that's one of those heavy gym balls and then allowing the players to hit that. Of course, I don't have one at home. I've only got one at the academy. Uh, if you do have one of those at home, please do use it. Uh, it's a lot better than using your garden furniture. But as they say in South Africa, a burmaka plant. The great thing about this drill is that it's going to give us a thought process uh, that'll allow us to exert all our energy into one point. So this is obviously old garden furniture, so there's no problem with me smashing it. But please don't use uh, something that's going to break. Things to focus on in this drill, we're still keeping our same positioning. So often what a lot of guys think is to try and hit a six, I need to lean back and hit the ball up. The ball is going to go up on its own if you get your contact point right okay but in order to get that contact point right you do need to be slightly forward you cannot be leaning back so again i'll use the rugby analogy if you're going into a tackle and you're tackling with your weight back you're going to come off second best All right so making sure that we're still leaning forward and we want to push the ball as far back as we can so making sure that we're leaning into it and not backwards so don't let that back leg dip then we're going to be focusing on the hips once again so the hips need to move into the shot not around the shot and then from there it's just allowing your hand speed to go through and and release all our energy at this point we obviously want to try have something to hit there that has resistance okay if we use the medicine ball uh, in the nets we we often look at where the ball is ending up after you've hit the shot so if we end up hitting it and it's going off to the leg side that shows that you're probably smothering the ball you're not holding your shot shape for long enough and allowing your hands to extend if we're slicing across here generally the ball will go off to the off side and then we can obviously look at straightening up that swing and allowing you to swing more towards long on once again making sure our positioning is still forward getting our contact point right just slightly further forward of where you'd usually hit the ball so not completely under the belly button just out in front that will allow for the elevation and then the power will carry the ball over the ropes so obviously i've used this uh, because it does provide a bit of resistance uh, so anything that can provide a bit of resistance that's obviously not going to damage your bat i'd recommend using that and then putting all our energy into that and trying to force it forward another thought i want you to have is if you had to let go of the bat while you were swinging would the bat be traveling the direction that the ball is traveling so if we're looking to hit the ball towards long on then obviously your bat if you had to let go 
should be traveling towards long arm. Okay, if we're looking to hit straight and our bat, if we had to let go, is traveling there, you're most probably not getting the maximum power through the shot and you're slicing across it or you're smothering it. So I want us to present the full face for as long as we can and then allow the hands to whip through and still holding in our position down here. So this, because we've got resistance behind it, is forcing us to stay in the shot for longer to push through and then extend. We don't want to have early extension because that's when you come up on the shot and that is also when you're losing power. So once again, focusing all our energy onto this point and then just releasing the hands through it and holding our shot shape. That is what's gonna get you the maximum power. There you have it guys. That is the single most important drill when it comes to power hitting. It's gonna really change the way that you think about power hitting as well as change your, your thought processes behind the shot. Thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.